Hey what's up Geeks, Ian here from Pinoy Metro Geek YouTube channel and thank you very much for joining me for another video this Geekend. So we know JBL is a leading brand that caters for quality speakers, lifestyle headphones, and audio devices. So right now, um, JBL is trying to enter the gaming space with the introduction of its Quantum series of headphones. So the JBL Quantum series comes with more or less 7 headphones in its uh, portfolio. So by far, we got the best selling one and probably one of the most affordable ones of the Quantum series. So it's the JBL Quantum 400 headphones. So this is just a quick unboxing video guys and I'll give you my initial thoughts and first impressions about this um, headphones that we have here. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So I'm giving you three seconds to do that now. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Let's go. The JBL Quantum 400 comes with a gaming-inspired box which features a flip cover design that gives you a peek on the actual headphones itself. There's a lot going on on the prints of the box which gives us several points on what to expect with a gaming headset. The box features some of JBL's iconic slogan like Sound is Survival and Dare to Listen. Of course, we have the market features printed at the face of the box like uh, the JBL Surround or the JBL Quantum Surround um, engine here and i think some of the most important features is printed at the back we have a skype certification here also a discord certification team speak and some of the ports that we have like a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a usb type a and usb type c so opening the box we will be greeted with the main unit itself it comes with a plastic caution and some contraptions so that it will be fixed inside. Of course, just like in any other unboxing that we have, we have to put it at the side first and then see what we have in this smaller block box. So uh, there are two types of cables found in here. The first one is a USB type A to type C cable and the other one is a 1.2 meter long 3.5 to 3.5 audio jack cable. So I think we have some good quality cables here. Um, they are braided and fabric woven. What I also love about these cables is that they come in black with some orange accents to it. They are rugged and made of braided fabric and could definitely withstand the test of time. They have black tone with orange accents. Aside from that, we also have the product manual and other documentations. Okay, since we got that out of the way, let's talk about my first impressions about this gaming headset. So this is a JBL Quantum 400 headset. First and foremost, I am very surprised that it's very lightweight. We love that it's not bulky. In fact, it's sturdy when I hold it the first time. We could classify the JBL Quantum 400 as an over-the-ear headphones. The ear cups or the cushions are made of soft leatherish material which is padded with a memory foam. In our usage, these circum-oral cups are quite good. It's comfortable for short gaming sessions, however, it could be a different story for longer gaming time. But of course, we will test that in our review for sure. The module to which the leatherish cups are being attached comes with a shiny plastic build. On its center, there's a JBL logo which gives off RGB lights for a more gaming-inspired experience. Aside from that, the rest of the headphones features a matte finish. And um, the headband is mostly matte. You can find a JBL logo here at the center. This section over here comes with a soft or silky finish. And that is in contrast to the matte exterior that we have on the rest of the headband. The ear cups can also turn up to 90 degrees inward which could give you another layer of convenience when carrying the headset around or placing it in flat surfaces. It can also swivel to fit the shape of the head of the user. And on top of that, you can also adjust the headband's length into 7 levels. So the JBL Quantum 400 gaming headphones is very generous enough when it comes to ports and buttons. All of the ports and interface of the JBL Quantum 400 headset can be found on its left ear cup. At the bottom portion of the ear cup, we have the USB Type-C port and the 3.5mm audio jack. At the back side of the cup has the microphone mute toggle button, volume wheel, and the chat dial. This interface can be easily accessed and it's also a good idea to place them in close proximity to each other. So the microphone is also attached on the left ear cup. So when you try to pull it down, it gives off a clicky sound. This also indicates the flip to mute feature of the microphone. It means that it will automatically mute your audio when you retract or flip the mic. There's also an LED 
indicator integrated on the microphone. When it flashes a red color, it means that it's muted. Plus, the air filter is also a good addition to the mic. The JBL Quantum 400 gaming headphones is pretty solid in terms of build and quality. JBL Quantum 400 is a gaming headphones, but it still comes with a classic flair to it, which I definitely like. So as for the software, there's a companion software for the headphones called the Quantum Engine. You can download it at official JBL's website. So there are lots of customizations that you can do using the software. One that sticks out is the Quantum Surround in the Spatial Sound tab. This gives you access to simulated 7.1 surround sound experience, which gives some kind of a spatial effects using JBL sound technology. Of course, you can also customize the lightings in whatever mood you want. So as for the sound quality, on the get-go, I tried listening to some of the songs with wide sound stage, and I think the experience is quite promising, but I haven't tested the Quantum Surround yet, but I will tackle that one in the review. The JBL Quantum 400 gaming headset is a very promising over-the-air device. It has a very generous set of interface and controls, plus the design is also something to get excited about. In my first impressions, there are some of the features that sticks out, like the Quantum Surround sound, the flip-to-mute microphone, and of course, its lightweight construction and customizable LED lights. So if you have questions, just comment down below and we'll try to answer that one in our review. But I think that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much, Geeks, for always watching my videos. And have another great long geek end. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.